Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a really cool Christmas um, illustrated monogram like this using my Holiday Fun Fot Factory. And this is a really great graphic collection you can use in any program. I'm using Photoshop today but you could also use it in Procreate. Um, and you can create illustrated holiday letters with tons of decorations and or also monograms so you can write words monograms and it's all um, in here in the holiday fun font factory and I'll have a link down below um, with the discount code and um, I put tons of work into this and it's so versatile for the holidays with accents you can make all kinds of cool things so let's get into it we're gonna make an illustrated L like this and I've done all the heavy lifting for you. So to begin with, um, I've got a blank document here and I have in the background a layer style. It's also available as um, a graphic, so you know you don't have to have it in Photoshop, but I'm just gonna use my layer styles here and use this dark green and it's this beautiful felt. So I'm gonna just take the background of my document, double click it to create a layer and then I'm going to go to my dark green felt layer style and boom, I'm golden. Turn up my brightness here. And then I'm going to go and open up my script file with my pine needles. I'll start with that. And it looks like this and I made this illustrated alphabet for you. So I'm just going to go here, zoom in a little bit. I'm going to grab that, touch that uh, letter L here. Make sure auto select layer is on. Touch that L and then I'm going to, what I can do is just drag it over into this document here. So I'm golden. It's a smart object so don't worry, it's a different size. Then I'm going to open up my script round leaves document. And it's got the same thing. So I'm going to grab that L, drag it over here. And let's just select both these layers holding my shift key and I'm going to uh, align them horizontally and vertically so it's kind of hidden. So let's go over here and I'm going to take both these L's. I'm going to hit Command T to free transform them and I'm going to transform them together like so. And I'll click return to enter that and now we can see they are um, sized up for a document and I don't want to have this just exactly over here. The one on top, I'm going to put a little bit to the top, um, up and left. And now I want to have the sense of depth that you see over here. So I'm going to use my layer styles and I've got a little cheat sheet of the layer styles here. It's the, it's the document titled layer styles. And what I have is the layer styles. I have a lot of drop shadows that I've already made. And so I'm going to go over here with like this drop shadow 15 and I'm going to click on this layer. Let's go to my drop shadows, my styles, and I'm going to click the drop shadow. And it's not quite as deep as I might like, but I'm just going to leave it now for now. Let's see here. And I'll click the other L and click drop shadow. And now let's go back to here to my top letter L with the round leaves and I'm just going to double click on this drop shadow and you know uh, these I made these just to kind of give you a starting point but you can always adjust them for your um, design so I'm going to increase the size a little bit um, increase the distance perhaps there we go we're getting that nice depth in there and maybe uh, turn up the multiply um, the opacity so we can see that depth and just, you know, just play around with it until I can get it. Um, I might turn this side, I don't know, play with the size until I have it in a place where I'm happy with. So I like that, that looks good. We've got a nice depth. We can see those pine needles underneath. So I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna leave the pine needles with the, the default opacity. So I'm just gonna play around with the position until I get it a place that I'm like really happy with. So that's cool. So we've got that nice depth and that really um, makes a difference in the end. And so let's see what we're gonna do now. Um, let's see, I'm gonna click, what? zoom that into 100%, we're pretty similar. 
So now let's go ahead and add some of these ornaments. And I've got a really nice ornaments file here. And it's super organized. And let's just zoom in on this a little bit. So zoom in here. And I've illustrated all of these ornaments. And they've got these really lovely, like, um, wet brush strokes. We've got, you know, little bits of shimmer, gold, We've got snowflakes with iridescence, you know, all kinds of things. I've used my Instagram layer styles on these. I've used my wet brushes and um, all the tricks to make things really cool and pretty and sparkly. So it's really fun. They look painted. So first of all, let's get this little bow. So I'm just going to grab that off of my, um, my thing here, my document, but let's go back to the other one. Hold on one second while we switch documents. There we go. Let's take this one here, this ornament, and drag it over here. This is kind of the centerpiece that I'm going to Command T to free transform it, or um, perhaps it's Alt on a on a Windows. So I'll put that there. And then I wanted to get these little um, ribbons here and put them up here and here. So let's hang on for a second. My computer is working overtime these days. It's a little bit slow and I have to, it's totally time for me to get a new one. So the only thing, the only time it really is a pain is when I'm recording videos. So I'm going to also Option, um, command, uh, hold down my free transform and transform that. I love it. And I'm going to duplicate this layer. You can drag this here and duplicate it. So let's do that. And then I had um, behind the ribbon, I had some little sparklies. So let's find those. Here they are. Let's try to select that. A little um, sparkly accents that I've already made so you don't have to make them, the dots. So I've got that layer selected and actually I can just drop, drag the layer even over on here. I'm going to Command T, Free Transform it and enlarge it. The good thing is, is these are already saved as smart objects, so you don't have to worry about resizing up and down and losing any, um, losing any sort of uh, resolution. So that's the good thing. And now I want to have some little ornaments dangling from those ribbons. So let's go back up here. And I like this one because this has the, uh, the green and the red in there with a little bit of sparkly. So I'll just grab one of these ornaments here. Let's drag that over here. Hang that from there. And then I think I grabbed this one, the little short squatty one. And so let's drag this over here underneath my ornament. And now I'm actually going to select those ornaments and pull them below my ribbons because we have a little bit of, you know, like depth in this, so we want them to be kind of underneath. That is pretty. And then what do we have left to add? So now, um, if you've noticed, I've added these accents here. So let's go back here. Let's go to my greenery accents number two document. And hang on just one second. These are kind of big files here. Um, is it accents number two? No, perhaps it's greenery accents number one. And as you can see, I have these nice and organized for you. So it really helps you to um, be able to do it quickly. And let's see here. I had one going up this way. So let's see here. I'm going to grab this one here, right there, the shiny greenery. Let's pull this over here. Let's see how I had that. I had that going off the bottom. So I'm going to use my Command T, free transform this, and rotate it and resize it and kind of have this going along this section. 
And I made these at really nice angles so that it kind of um, goes along with the uh, the curves really well. So I'm going to hit return. And I'm not going to worry that if it's perfect, you can always play with the angles later and everything, but I think it looks really good. And then I've just selected this one. I'll drag that layer over here because I want it to kind of come out here. So let's hang on just one second. While my slow pokey computer goes and I'm going to hit command T. Going to resize that. That's cool. Play around with the angle. I'm happy with that. So let's hit return, commit that. Very cool. And then how did I have it here? I had one going around there. So um, let's see here. This one looks nice. Yeah, not too strong of a, a curve. So let's Command T, let's free transform this. Let's rotate this bad boy. Get it in a nice position. Click enter. And I could even enlarge that a little bit and it's really cool. And so now you know you've got these uh, really lovely illustrated accents and it's just so easy. I'm gonna grab these last shiny accents and add a drop shadow to them. There's drop shadow 14. So now they're cool, they're ready to go. And let's make sure that my little ribbons here, no, let's add some drop shadows to the ribbons. Now they're very delicate, so I'm gonna probably add something like drop shadow too. Perfect. Let's grab this bow red, and I'm gonna grab something in the middle like drop shadow nine. I love it. Those little drop shadows make a little bit of, like they make such the difference. And so now we have a beautiful illustrated letter L, did not take that long, drag and drop, add some drop shadows. And now you can take this and create something for sale, um, create holiday cards, create, uh, put it on a shirt, put it on a tote bag, what have you. Um, all of my products have a generous extended use. Um, you can, uh, check my website, but I create these these products for small makers for small businesses um, Especially so that you can create lovely items for sale So if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments and stay tuned for more videos